This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. Sidekick Media Services, your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Hey guys, it is the Awesome Cast episode 322. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, ready to talk tech and gadgetry with you. Video producer here in Pittsburgh, uh, rocking the podcast and, and, and all kinds of fun stuff. With me on the line, Chilla is on assignment this week, and uh, 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 the, the penguin season has spun up, so uh, uh, the no dudders this week. Uh, but with us, uh, of course, he is um, um, streaming gaming extraordinaire, uh, part of the Boss Battle podcast, and Riz plays games. He is the Riz, also one of my cohorts over at Wrestling Mayhem Show, joining us tonight. Yes. Uh, go to BossBattle.com, uh, BossBattlePodcast.com for there you go. some Boss Battle talk. Go pod, go BossBattlePodcast.com. And, and also Riz plays games and everything else, and, blah, blah, blah. And, like you said, Sark. And also with us, um, I, I didn't realize that he was going to be in the middle of a, a parade, <laughs> apparently. Matthew Collins is with us via Google Hangout, live from the Pleasant Hills Parade. Live from is the that, war zone. I see a box of crayons walking yes, down Sork. the street. Hello, Sorg. Do you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. Yes, I am reporting to you from the Pleasant Hills Halloween Parade, held nearly a week before Halloween, as you do. Um, so I've been to, I've watched many parades on TV, Tournament of Roses, um, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I've even watched the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Savannah, Georgia. Nothing quite compares to this. I can give you a chance to look around because there is some more street lights now. And uh, you can check there out the pandemonium. Um, the State Puff Marshmallow Man yes. is my son. My other son is one of 20 Ghostbusters out here with us tonight. Just make sure you don't <laughs> and, uh, take the wrong one home. We got, yeah, we got Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. We got Ninja. <laughs> We've got the SWAT units here. I see a few lightsabers up on the hill. We're walking down the middle of the street towards the heart of town. And uh, so I can only imagine what kind of calamity is going to break out once we get down here. I don't know if you can see further down the street. That looks like a homemade robot down the street with uh, a... <laughs> With wow. a lighted, lighted antenna. It's very strong. We got a, we got a box of crayons. We got some strong costume game out here. So, you know, I, Halloween costumes are awesome, right? So this this is relevant to your uh, to your listeners. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, hey, hey, there's one way to get a Halloween. You're, he's, she's like, he's on Google Hangout in the middle of the street joining us with lots of screaming kids. <laughs> <laughs> It's All right. not too loud. I'm just glad the marching band stopped playing for a little bit so I could talk to you. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, we'll see. Uh, as you go, if you want to chime in and stuff in between all the insanity going on out there, Matt. Uh, of course, Main Street Matt, our, our friend. Uh, an ex- stay safe, sir. Producer Thank over at KPA. Uh, <laughs> so, but, so guys, I'm just happy to contribute something to the serious podcast in the Supertron Media. Perfect. Podcast, Absolutely so. perfect. Hope- Thank you very much for, for having me on. <laughs> Maybe we just leave that. We should just leave him in the corner. <laughs> All we right. Should. Well, let's get into the show. Of course, this is your awesome cast. You can check us out at awesomecast.net. Subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. And we're also live every Tuesday at live.awesomecast.net over on the Facebook group stream as well. But his stream is going to keep distracting me in the corner <laughs> because it's just it's just over in the side and it, like in my peripheral view. And there's the robot right now if you're on the video version. <laughs> but anyways, you can also check out the rebroadcast of this. It's on audio. If you're listening on there, I'm sorry. Over at um, over at riversedgepgh.com every uh, Thursday morning, 8 a.m. after Funny Money. Also, a big thanks to our Patreon supporters, uh, Mike Fedor, Mike, Mike, at Mike Fedor Show on the Twitter, hey, our great Patreon supporter over there. Check it out, patreon.com slash awesome cast and i also have up there if you are a supporter of the show uh you got a little bit little view into what's coming up uh soon with a state of the awesome cast uh over there so please uh become part of become a supporter become our boss 
So let's get into our awesome thing of the week. Riz, I think I think you and I are just yes. going to share this awesome thing of the week. Nintendo made an I think, announcement. I think we have to. I think we do have to. Um, and, and hence, you know, being the video game guy uh, who, who, who wasn't also, I think everybody else is in their respective Halloween parades tonight, too. Um, yes, that's true. Of course, uh, uh, you know, the Nintendo Switch was announced. And uh, it's something different. Riz, what is the Nintendo Switch? The Nintendo Switch, and, and I, I love that you posted this on the, on the doc that we had on here. Because it, it pretty much is what the article was saying. That this game, this console is, looks like what Nintendo, the Wii U should have been. It should have been the mobile slash console gaming hybrid that we've been waiting for for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, it looks amazing. Like, I, like, the concept of having your controller go wherever you go and have your games go wherever you go is a thing that we haven't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. And, and, and just that techiness of plopping in the controller, taking it out, making sim- simply put this in your hand and taking it out no matter where you're going. By the way, I'm holding a, a, the Wii U remote, uh, the, re- the remote control, or the, the, the game co- the controller for the Wii U. But having a smaller version of this with just a little bit of, like just a little smaller than this, and the ability to take this apart and use the screen as a screen on a table and play it mobily is something that I personally never thought would I would see, and be especially from Nintendo. Uh, like, go ahead. there there were comparisons to like the the, the video, the, the I think it was Nvidia, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, no, this is this is going to be fun. Uh, um, so, so I never said I would want to buy this some first time, mm-hmm. and I don't know if I am or not, but the commercial alone made me think mm-hmm. about doing it. Uh, and just to clarify, the NVIDIA Shield, I think they were comparing it to, for the most part, a, yeah. a tablet out there uh, that has, has a lot of uh, uh, um, you know video game power behind it. It's going to be an, an NVIDIA Tegra processor in this. Basically, the console is going to be a tablet. Uh, whether yeah. that's going to be a touch tablet, we don't know. It has a dock that you put it into. It has uh, uh, like kind of like Wii Motes, but the whole point is they they attach to the side of it or the side of a mm-hmm. kind of uh, piecemeal controller, and then there's like a, more of a pro controller like we're used to on the Wii and Wii U as well. Uh, so yeah, it's taken you know your Wii U controller still had to kind of communicate back home to play games in the house via wireless Bluetooth, whatever the case may be. And then you still had a box that had all the power in it. This is right. the stream is entirely where all the power is, right? Or the, 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 the screen is, is the, the tablet. Like you're basically taking a tablet and putting it in a dock and turning it into a home console. Now, what does that do for power? We don't know, but it looks pretty impressive from what we're seeing so far. Like the fact that it was shown Skyrim. And I think you're more of a Skyrim player than I am, right? Right. And when they showed Skyrim and they showed the third party capabilities to what's going to happen with it. Mm -hmm. It made me love this even more because for the past few years, Wii U only had Nintendo games and sometimes very rarely do they have third party and it's their third party video games. It's it was Nintendo's third party. It was Nintendo's choice. It was Nintendo's this, but now we have Skyrim. We have, uh, 2k sports going into it and i'm i'm looking to see what else comes out comes out for that Mm -hmm. like uh what if madden comes out like could you imagine people just huddled over a table playing different madden games for like a a a local tournament type thing well of course uh uh, and and there's a list of about 75 developers including electronic arts and even the mm -hmm. wii and the wii u would have say madden at least for the first several years until they would bow out uh, because there just weren't weren't enough, they couldn't keep up. I don't think Wii U had one. The Wii U didn't have a Madden. I don't think Wii I, U had a Madden game. Wow. Well, also, yeah, the, also, the Wii U didn't have a Mario, a, a 3D Mario game. Didn't have a Zelda game. Like yeah. I'm looking at that lineup, and I'm like, no wonder it didn't take off. I mean, I mean, it, 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 
I this is the most excited I've been for Nintendo in quite a while. This is the most excited I've been in, for Nintendo in about ten years when the Wii came out, which is the first yeah. thing I stood in line for to pick up. And how did that turn out? Sorry. Actually, it turned out really well. I had a lot of fun time yeah. with my Wii. Yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, uh, and, and and that's the thing because Nintendo has been revolutionary in everything they've been doing. Mm-hmm. Like with the Wii, it was the first motion control. With the Wii U, it was one of the ones where you can play either on TV or on your controller. Yeah. And now this one is, you can go wherever the hell you want to go. Sorry if I swore, I'm sorry. You can go on wherever you can go on this place and still play the video game. Right. It, it, well, That's it, what's amazing the Wii U, The Wii U, the way you could at least play in the house, was a step forward, right? And, uh, right. And, and, and to this thing. Um and and no, I don't think this is going to compare entirely with what, say, the 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 Xbox or anything are are doing. Uh, but I, I think it's definitely going to be the concept is going to win above all. I think it's going to be competitive at least right out of the gate as far as hardware goes. Um, the configurations are interesting. So so we 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 you talked a little bit about that. You can put it on the table. You can pretty much play it as a its own gaming uh, mobile console. You know, not so much as robust. I think as a as a right. DS or not robust, but as um um. I mean, it's a giant screen, so it's going to be a little a, tougher. Yeah, right? it's a tablet screen. Yeah, it's a tablet screen, and it, yeah. it's not a DS. Um, they, they, there's no announcement of anything. The 3DS uh, sounds like it's winding down. This is going to basically replace the console and the mobile market for them, uh, which they've been really good about. You know, not putting all the eggs in one basket, and then the mobile's done very well for them when the when the console mm-hmm. is not. Uh, so, so there is that mobile version. There is that put it on the table, and those those controllers pop off, and each one can be a NES style, uh, you know, uh, you know, sideways gamepad, you know, to play with your friend. Uh, there's there's a lot of options there. It's really interesting. I, I worry about something like this becoming overcomplicated a little bit. Right? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's always a concern for 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 something like this. Uh, we are, I'm sure, many of us that had a Wii's and Wii U's were like, oh, I want to play this game. Oh, I don't have enough nunchucks. Oh, I don't have this. Okay, that one has the GameCube controller, but this we, this one has the nunchuck. Mm-hmm. This one just has a remote, so he has to do the weird uh, movement versions, right? Uh, so, so there's there is a question of that. What comes in the box? Yeah, I, I guess if you get just the oh, I've the joy thought about that so much since this since the past week like, like the, the 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 skeptic the skeptic in me is going how much is this going to cost mm. how like what's going to happen if i lose a controller or a part of a controller what's going to happen when i i mean how what if i lose a video like because the the game is that big i think it, yeah, it's a it cartridge. was like a sand disc. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a little bigger. It's like a thicker. It, it's like a bigger DS card. It looks like, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, and, what, which, what again, if you lose that? What if you go out and break it? What if somebody mm-hmm. steals it from you because mm-hmm. you're playing this? Is that really much different though than than a 3DS that that was like a two hundred dollar device? Or hey, we're all well. I mean, we're all walking around with six hundred dollar devices half the time, anyways, right? So, right. And, I, and I just want to. Like just the things that go in my mind when I see mm. this and I'm starting to think over and over again, that's why I'm trying to like, pace myself and not trying to, you know, sell my Wii U right away. Cause I'm still having fun with that Wii U. Mm-hmm. Like I'm still having fun with smash because I'm, I'm playing it with, I'm training my, uh, my awesome, awesome, uh, amiibos that I have here, uh, for war. Uh, but there, there's still more things for me to do, and I think the the pros somewhat outweigh the cons in buying the the Switch over the keeping the Wii U, because that because with Nintendo that's what they're trying to get. They're not trying to outdo PlayStation Four. They're not trying to outdo Xbox One. They're trying to outdo themselves, and and they they already have stepped a huge hurdle in getting third party support, getting the people what they want and seeing Zelda for the first time. Like that's the first image you saw from the switch mm-hmm. was Zelda mm-hmm. was, it was, and, and just the images that alone on the screen on, on 
taking the console out, going all over the place with it, going to the guard cart with it, and then playing uh, Mario Kart. That was pretty amazing. Uh, just everything. Like, I just want more information on this, uh, and I'm going to probably want to hear a price range in the next couple months because it's about four months. Mu- about a few months away. It's coming out in March. And we don't know the price. Yeah. Don't know much. I mean, you know, there's plenty of time for more information to come in there. Uh, you know, it needs to get past Christmas anyway. So mm-hmm. I, I think that's fine. They're definitely, it's a different strategy than E3. Here's the info and, and we'll see you in the fall. Right. Uh, and I think I, I like the idea of having it come out in March and then having E3 be all games that you can buy on it. Right, exactly. Because like, in June, you're going to have money saved up to buy the video games. Right. You have that cycle. Right, right. Um, no, I'm looking forward to it. It, it, it is, like, it does feel like the thing, it, they, they, they appear to have completely um, moved past the motion gaming that they did over the years, over the last mm-hmm. 10 years between these, uh, the, between the, the, the consoles. Um the, the Wii consoles. So this is this is truly like, hey, it's a new era, right? Uh, it, it was really interesting, and, and here we can move this this side too. So Nintendo innovating a bit on the console front, right? Uh, over over right. a while, and uh, there's a video that was included. I think in that that link that I shared in the doc for you, I, I actually posted it. And I don't know if anybody's responded just yet, but there they, they talked about the similarities between um, the Nintendo Switch uh, kind of. You know, ad uh, reveal ad and and a video from uh, ten years ago or pretty much coming two thousand six, uh, basically about the Nintendo Revolution controller, which became the Nintendo Wii controller, of course. Uh, and it's 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 more or less a concept video, but again, you know, a lot of kind of three D renderings of what the remote was supposed to look like, and there's a few things that are a little different from there. But then, just like they didn't show a single game in this promo. But they showed everybody playing games, like from the perspective of the television, right? And there's a lot of stuff, like there's a couple of chefs like chopping and stuff. There's there's an old couple, uh, uh, you know, directing music, you know, like a composer, right? And I'm watching this thing, you know, there's, there's one drumming, there's there's baseball. Uh, I'm watching this thing, and I, and I pose the question: How many, how much of this demo did they deliver on, right? Did did do you think the Wii delivered on the expectations of the, at the time? Uh, I mean, it, it's still being used today, though. I mean, you go to any physical. Like, I work at a physical therapy place, and right there, sitting on the, on the TV screen, uh, on on the TV stand, is a Wii Fit, and it is a Wii, and with the Wii controller, and it's good exercise for you know trying to get people back in shape and all that stuff. And, and yeah, it, it, I think that's what they wanted to try to do. They wanted to get into markets that didn't think they would be game. Like they would like video games. And mm-hmm. with, uh, and, and with the ones you said, uh, I can pretty much say that that was probably, they were playing cooking mama, uh, <laughs> and Mario and Mario party. There was- I just named two games with, uh, chopping into it. And uh, the the uh, conducting of the orchestra. Let's see. The only thing really missing for me was the Flyswatter game that they showed off on this. And Wario, you know, WarioWare. I guess. Oh, that was WarioWare, wasn't it? There's was a Mario WarioWare. Party. There's one where there's like the Wii is a flashlight, and you're moving it around. Was did they do a Resident Evil or something like that? I think there might have been a zombie game with that. Probably a zombie. Yeah, yeah. I think there was like like one of those. There was a lot of sword play. That one of the launch titles had that, but I guess it didn't really work out so well. And, and they improved, sword. and they improved on it with like the later version. Yeah, they did. The, so so they delivered. They delivered, and and it worked for a while. It it worked. I mean, it, it, this, it this was new life. I mean, Nintendo probably wouldn't be nearly as strong as it is now if this didn't work as well as it did at the time. <laughs> I mean, remember when we were, when it first came out and uh, we were both wrestling fans mm. and they, they even came out with uh, some Wii oh. representation for WWE. Yeah, they and did. And you can do taunts, like you can yeah. perform taunts and then they'll do the I want to get that now. I, w- I want to go get an old copy of that somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you can pick it up for pretty mm. cheap, right? Because it was, it was way oh, different yeah. than what the other ones that they were doing. Uh, so, so, I mean, I think thankfully... 
the games that come over to this, there's not, you know, the, the thing is, there wasn't a lot of cross, cross, you know, cross console games on the Wii because they had to be right. so different, right? Um, thankfully, with this new one, I think the controllers are going to be similar enough in the button configurations that I think we'll get more. I, I, I And I think that's what they need is, okay, I can play Skyrim, but I can play Skyrim on the go, and it's pretty much still Skyrim, right? Mm-hmm. I can play Call, I mean, maybe Call of Duty, and, and I can now do it on the go, right? Any any esports game we saw it on. Oh uh, yeah, uh, on at the end of the at the end of the uh, the thing where they were all playing uh, their game uh, Splatoon in a live esports arena, which was pretty cool mm-hmm. on a, on their consoles. Everyone had a console and they pop it in and play the game. So of course I, I'd love to see them have Call of Duty, Madden. Uh, uh, what other games would be like? Maybe not CS:GO because that's pretty that's pretty uh, intense, uh, but something along those lines of having something to do with e like something to do with esports would be amazing. Like if they get if they get if they do get like Counter Strike or or Battlefield or Battlefront or something along those lines, that would be amazing uh, to get to get their support and get their 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 console on esports to get their brand out there. Now, I'm not saying Nintendo needs a little uh, brand branding out there, but the, the switch does. Mm-hmm. And that's amazing that they're going to have that capabilities of doing that with their console and your video game. Certainly. I mean, it, I can talk for days about this and <laughs> not say anything bad about it. Well, but I just want to—I I just want to know what the price is. I, man, can they bring that in under three hundred bucks? Because I, I think mm. it, I think it's going to be a hard I, sell if they, they they show up to the party at a with five hundred dollar console. Here, um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The 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 Xbox One starts at two ninety nine. Mm-hmm. If they're above two ninety nine, it's going to be hard. It is going to be a hard sell. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Um, but you also got to think. Uh, anytime you're taking all that power and putting it in a smaller package, it's more expensive, right? So and, and that's there's the a thing lot I'm, more things to do too, right? And that, that that's that's the thing that worries me a little bit. So we'll see. Well, guys, um, s- one thing we can agree on: we love our friends at Slice on Broadway, uh, uh, pizza. Uh, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good while now. And surprise, they just updated their website. Look at this! Look at this thing. SliceOnBroadway.com got a makeover. Wow. Uh, so so good on them. They got a, a cool new site over there. Uh, you can get more information, probably more suitable. It's all that PNC. I, I think they had a good year at PNC Park, uh, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're right here in Beachview, right along the tracks here. Uh, find out what they're doing. That's so, so great. Uh, I mean, it's... it's, it's uh, it's good pizza. It's good pizza. It's a New Yorker approved by Mad Mike. Uh, so please, please go check them out. Slice on Broadway, Carnegie PA, Beachview, and PNC Park. Some good friends supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting. Uh, check them out, and uh, you'll be hungry too. PJH underscore Slice on the Twitter and a Facebook, Slice on Broadway, as well as the Instagrams. Riz! Sorg! Riz! Sorg. Let's get into some more stories of the week. Yes. Because we obviously we talked about the awesome thing for all of us. There are many parts to it, so that, that we got to split it up as our awesome thing. <laughs> so uh, one of the stories I think is very was pretty fun for this week. Uh, it actually just kind of came out today uh, with The Verge. Get your thoughts on it here. Uber's self-driving truck company just completed its first shipment, five or 50,000 cans of Budweiser. So of there course. you go. Of course it was Budweiser, right? Of course it was Budweiser. Because <laughs> if they get pulled over, who are they going to arrest for open containers? <laughs> exactly. Nobody. Yeah, like, I know this isn't the way it works, but just like that, that idea that the, the driver is just, just hanging out there, and, <laughs> you know, behind the wheel, uh, hammered. Yeah, just kind of just kind of digging it. Um, and, and like I said, and this is uh, when I did the uh, the, the self driving. Uh, Media Day. Uh, Auto is the company O T T O that 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 Uber bought. 
uh, Auto was a company that was doing self-driving trucks. Uh, they bought them, and actually, the CEO, uh, this uh, actually, I think it's this guy, Travis uh, Kalanick, uh, was one of them that spoke at the self-driving car uh, event. So, uh, so got to see him in person. Um, I'm, I'm trying. They were talking about this on Daily Tech News Show, and I want to make sure I got the facts straight. But I believe a, I believe they had a state trooper follow the truck for the majority of the run just to make sure everything was okay. Like, like they, they arranged it, right? Uh, so I hope I hope they arranged it. Yeah, like no, 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 you know, those lights were on the entire time. The, the, <laughs> the self-driving truck is not aware yet uh, of 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 when it, when you need to be pulled over. Um, so I felt bad the other day. So I was I was doing some stuff in Oakland, and I awkwardly pulled over because I was waiting to pick somebody up, and my four ways on it, and my car like kind of half sticking out of a parking spot. And in that extra lane up on Fifth Avenue, and somebody's pulling up on me, I'm like, "Oh, they'll go around me." And I see it's a self-driving car. Because <laughs> <laughs> you you drive around Pittsburgh on a Saturday night, you're going to run into multiple self-driving Ubers. I've noticed. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so that's one way to do that. I, I really want to make sure I get the the the, the fact right on the state troop, trooper here too. Um, but anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, according to Ron, the state patrolman who followed the truck <laughs> said it was super nice to see a truck stay safely in its lane for most of the trip. <laughs> so there you go. There you, you go. Know, good, for, good for them. <laughs> good for them. I mean, I mean, with all like, with all the bad press that they've been getting mm. with the self-driving car, like the accident that occurred like, a couple of days ago. Days? Like the fender bed. Was it like? Who had a fender bender? bender? Well, Tesla had a really horrible thing where somebody like died because, um, oh no, 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 because they weren't under the understanding that Tesla cars are not currently self-driving cars, and autopilot (laughs) is just a name. (laughs) You shouldn't. Well, they should. They should put a warning under there, so like there there is a warning. Apparently, no. Like the car, (laughs) the car yells at you when it notices you're not don't have your hands on the wheel or paying attention. Like, like, you know how bad the car dings at you when you don't like, like, buckle your safety belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, I noticed like, that. Like, it's something like that. It's some. It, it's something like that. But anyways, um, no, I, yeah, and this is great for Uber. Uber, especially, they've had uh, bad press beyond even the self-driving cars. So anything they can do to kind of uh, uh get their get their name a little popped up a little bit, uh, can be very, very helpful. Meanwhile, uh, Riz, have you been have you been hearing what Elon Musk's plan for Tesla self driving cars has been? I have not. You have not. Uh, I have not. So apparently, um, if I have this right, uh, uh, within I think the next couple of weeks, they announced this last week. Mm-hmm. Every car that comes off of the Tesla line, whether it's you know the new one, the one they just came out, or anything like that. Um, are going to have uh, everything in it. Uh, basically, there's going to be a checkbox for self-driving capabilities. You know, whether it's extra cameras or whatever technology they're they're squeezing into these things. Uh, so basically, it's going to be uh, it, it's going to be they're going to have all the all the preliminary stuff there for self-driving. Right. Uh, and basically, it's going to be turned on later with a software upgrade. Oh. So you won't have it? <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet, but it's, it's capable. So so there goes my $500,000 for a car, Sorg. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, um, good for like, uh, whoever, whoever buys a self-driving car, good for them. But, but they, the, they deserve it because they make a lot of money. Yeah, there's that. Well, I love um, Leo Laporte with Twitter was, uh, was reviewing his his latest. I think it's the Model X is the new one or Model S, mm-hmm. whatever the newest one was, which is the more affordable one. Apparently, I think it's only like a thirty five thousand dollar car. Uh, his he just got his. He was a pre order on his, and now they announced this, and he's like, "Well, Tess, I got my car a couple weeks ago, and now it's obsolete already. Welcome to the iPod of cars." Yep. <laughs> So, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. And there's actually a pretty tremendous video. I think this might be it right here. There's a pretty tremendous video of the car um, self-drive. Uh, nice little time-lapse video, but there's also a little bit of a... There's also an unedited version, so you can see exactly how it behaved. 
Um, in the video that I watched, and again, this was kind of the time lapse version. I believe this is it if you guys are on video right now. Um, I, this might be a little bit more of the promo video. But uh, it gets to the end, and they're back in the Tesla parking lot, like the office parking lot, right? Um, and it lets the guy off, and it goes back through the parking lot and parks. Okay, makes sense. Except I yeah. notice as it pulls into the parking lot, doesn't care what side of the road it's on, does not care about the stop lines in the parking lot. <laughs> I like that. That kind of concerned me a little bit. So uh, I, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how how these go. And of course, it is not currently legal to just go hands off on a uh, self driving car unattended in any state that I'm aware of. Okay, yeah, so, pretty much. so so I mean, this is all. This is all preliminary. This is all, and I'm really glad I saw that that internal uh, shot of the Tesla, um, of the Tesla plan in that video because there was something I was talking with somebody today about this idea of just like it's just Elon Musk when they talk about Tesla and just Elon Musk by himself with a bunch of robots making cars. And apparently, I was right according to that video. Um, so, uh, so Tesla once again moving things forward uh, with their self driving technology. Um, there's going to be a lot of competitors. Like this is real. This is really, really real, guys. You know, mm-hmm. these things are driving around Pittsburgh. Many of them. I haven't heard of any sort of incident uh, around here. Uh, just little, some awkward not turning at stop signs is the only thing I've experienced so far. <laughs> and let's be honest, sometimes I don't either. So, um, you know, it, it's uh, it, it's so close. It, the technology is out there. Uh, we'll see what regulations do with it because a lot of it does need to be really kind of taken care of here so riz are you still sure. playing pokemon go honestly i haven't really done that in a while yeah. i should get back to it though. i okay. fell off too but also my my traveling has been different like if i go somewhere i'm in a car and i haven't been thinking about it you know kind of thing i've been like i've been too busy to pull out my phone and boot it up basically and also, and also i did get a new uh phone okay so I had to. I have to re-download it, anyways. So you should, yeah, should still have all your stuff, though. Yeah, it should like, still like, have it. I'm just stuff. like, don't do that. I oh, I still have to do that. And Riz, then I don't do it, and then I realize that months later. Riz, but yeah, I think it's time to do it because Pokemon Go Halloween is this weekend. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Uh, Go yeah, on, it's going to be a Halloween. The the first uh, themed event in Pokemon Go. So, although I'm a little sketchy on on how they're doing it, because um, select Pokemon will appear more often, like the ghostly ones, right? You know, right. like Zubats, because you need more Zubats. That's everywhere. Because the Zubats, the Snorlax. Everybody and, needs new Zubats. Like I'm looking, and I'm like, I have all this stuff already. What are you doing? But I guess maybe for newer people. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it, it it and there's going to be um, special drop items. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, fun stuff with that. I, I like that because I love um, when there's events around. You, you, of course, uh, Injustice for the phone, uh, Mortal Kombat X, and uh, uh, WWE Immortals. Like they do a lot of stuff around their pay per views. Um, I, I really kind of dig those. Uh, and, and I think, yeah, and go ahead. They're doing they're doing stuff with uh, you know with Destiny still uh, making Halloween for Destiny as well. Mm-hmm. And Overwatch, two two video games on the PS4 that I'm playing currently, uh, and they have Halloween themed missions and Halloween themed characters and costumes and all that stuff as well. So yeah, that's I mean it's, it's a fun little thing to get people back into the game. Definitely, definitely little themes. I'm hoping that like we get to have costumes for our little Pokemon guys and stuff. Um, you know, like can can my can my Charmander that's following me around to get more candy, uh, like like have a have a mask or something, you know? It could be fun. It could be good. Uh, so I, I, I'm hoping to get out a little bit and and, and play with that some. So mm-hmm. good. All right. Uh, what else do we have here, Riz? Is there anything in the in the lineup there? I don't know if you have it in front of you. Uh, that uh, you know, I've been I've been really interested in the in the. In, in po- like the politics thing for for some reason this year, like I, I don't really get that into it, but with everything going on, I, I just have things to say about it for some reason. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't, but kinda, it incites some things, doesn't it? 
oh god yes it does it, it, it brings out a, an edge in me that 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 is that shouldn't be brought out uh but honestly this is the first time i get to say this donald trump you sir are a maverick <laughs> like the, the, hey, uh, remember the last time on, we got to say that <laughs> yeah yeah but the story on having your own nightly talk show on facebook live yep was genius look at this uh, the, so like, I, go ahead i would have thought like maybe somebody else would do this like a like a, a johnson or uh the other third party candidate i'm like i'm blanking on stein stein they would have their own little third party facebook live chat during the debates which i would have loved like this this to see them just riffing on the, the debates that everybody was riffing on anyways mm -hmm. but but this is taking it to a whole new another level because this is one of the top two candidates doing something with technology and you wouldn't think it would be trump <laughs> well you know no 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 i think it would be trump i i, I think i think it does make sense uh, aside from maybe like a Bernie Sanders campaign, because they were very mm -hmm. uh, knowing knowing one of the guys working on on digital team for Bernie Sanders uh, out of work hard, uh, they are very progressive on that stuff. You know, they were using stuff like Snapchat. Um, this is and 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 again, I, I I said, damn, that's smart when in my comment to this uh, when I discovered this. And I mean, and it's not like partially. It's like okay, it's three three dudes talking and actually or okay they had a girl on before and she was just playing with her phone i guess um but they're in the isn't, i think this is the isn't that what we're doing as it is what yeah there you go um <laughs> but they have the crawlers it looks like cnn you know so if it, if it comes up you know it, it's probably very you know some people just may think it is like cnn right um i mean I, the, the quality is not no the quality is not up to you know production quality of, of that stuff but still what a way to like really kind of drive home your message to the people that are definitely in your camp, mm -hmm. right? I uh, like like this is you know it's super smart. You know how I, many face how many Facebook friends do we have that are supporting Donald Trump? We're not answering that question. We're not <laughs> we are not answering question. that question. We're at not all. talking about. But still, yes. they have the they now have this source of oh, I'm going to go on this site and watch this guy talk about this candidate it, it, it's, it, 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 it feels like the raw pre-show concept for us with, yes. with pro wrestling right um it, it it just feels like 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 that very talking to like very much talking to the choir but very you know but having more access to the very devoted of the of of, of that choir you're talking to right mm -hmm. so um so the loud, the loud few and how we've gone well, in about a year and a half from Meerkat and Periscope to these productions on here. We're on Facebook Live doing this right now. Hi, right? Facebook Live. Hi, Facebook Live. Uh, but, uh, you know, them doing this and, 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 and seeing this, it just makes absolutely uh, so much sense. There's just a couple of quick, quick things. Um, I'm just surprised nobody else did, like thought of this. When they did the pre- and post-debate shows on Facebook Live, they racked up more than 9 million video views. Part of the program will also involve live streaming of every one of Trump's rallies and providing commentary before and after those events. In the first 10 minutes of the broadcast, the inaugural episode has more than 55,000 active viewers on Facebook. Wow. And they are very active. Wow. <laughs> yes, they are. Um, that leads me to something almost as scary. Uh, oh. Actually, I do want to talk about this. And, and again, I wish we had Katie on to, to talk about experience but i did get to chat with her a little bit about this so mashable uh visited Scarehouse, our friends here uh mm -hmm. in the greater area uh in etna pa and you can actually go and check it out i, I don't know if it's too too fantastic to watch in, in, in post here but uh, uh mashable went and set up live cameras streaming to facebook live in Scarehouse. Hmm. so people getting scared um, let's see, I'll, I'll pop in here. They're in one of the rooms and, uh, there, there's a couple cameras in there and, uh, yeah, it, 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 you see Is this the, the one with the creepy clown in it. Well, no, no, no. That's something else that I'm going to talk about in a moment. Yeah. So yeah. You, you use, you, but actually the creepy clown is in this. <laughs> he's, he's walking around yeah. in there. You see somebody open the door. Actually, I think they're in the same room that we did that, that 360 video, uh, as well. 
and you see people walking in and getting scared. Um, um, there was, what, what, she, I think she was telling me about one guy that was like coming in. It was a complete bro dude, right? And uh, and uh, walked in, walked in, and 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 uh, uh, was like giving a thumbs up to, to something, and then just completely got his, got the crap scared out of him. <laughs> so um, no, it's it's pretty. It's pretty good, and you just see it, it's so funny to watch because the characters just like keep like walking, like somebody walks in, they scare them, and then like he walks across to another door, and he <laughs> looks like he's chatting with the guy in there that's in the robe. <laughs> like it's like it's like it's like a buddy comedy um, or something. So uh, no, it, it, it's pre- it's pretty fun. Uh, so so check out a little bit of that. It, it is in the room of doors with the tall clown and the guy in the robe there. If you're familiar was with the there, scare house, was David L pumpkins or David S pumpkins. There, sorry. David S pumpkin. What's David S pumpkin. Exactly. Oh, okay. any questions, any questions? Oh, what's happening? Uh, but also we got to roll out something, uh, that we worked on a bit ago. I'm not sure if it's going to work on this browser. I think it's going to load here. Uh, but they released the, uh, 360 video we did. Um, with Scarehouse, that was a lot of fun. Now it was super dark again in that room, but man, when somebody comes out of the door like the clown, uh, mm-hmm. it, it does really, really pop. I'm gonna kill this computer trying to load this video because <laughs> I'm on a 360 video on full screen, and it will kill your computer. And this is not the newest of computers, so it's a little sketchy right there if you're watching on the video. Um, but uh, you can check that out. Uh, the 360 Room of Doors uh, hide and seek videos are um, over on the Facebook uh, page loaded today and uh, over on the uh, YouTube page for Scarehouse as well. Uh, we had a lot of fun with that. Uh, very difficult uh, because, I mean, it's dark, Riz. It's dark. It's, hard. You can't, it's very dark. It's, it's, it's hard to it's hard to kind of work that out there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, looks really cool when you throw it into um, uh, cardboard, actually. So, um, yeah, pretty decent, pretty decent. You know, for a nice dark scene, like it worked out only using like a Rico Theta. Uh, so I was, I was really happy with how it is. Also, figured out how to do logos in 360. So, <laughs> and co- there, there's logos that pop up at the end. Huh. Hey, and actually, if you look down, there's a Scarehouse logo over where the tripod is, so you don't see that. So, you know, we, we got, we're getting to that point where we're able to do a little bit of editing and spruce these things up a little bit. So, have a little bit of fun with that. So, uh, go, to, go check it out, the Scarehouse, over on Facebook and YouTube for that video. Riz, do you have an iPod? Have you ever owned an iPod? Uh, I owned a Zoom at one point. <laughs> oh, you went that way. Well, it's uh, it, yeah. it's apparently been uh, 15 years of the iPod. Happy birthday! Which means at some point during the course of the show, we did celebrate 10 years of the iPod. Yeah. Do they even sell the iPod anymore? Like, I don't think... I don't, I don't, I don't think they do. I don't think they even sell... I'm going to pull up the site. Uh, but no, I don't think they even sell the classic any, anymore. I, I, mean, I think they still have like iPod Touch, technically. iPhone, iPod. No, iPod oh. iPod is not listed on their page <laughs> at all. Oh, happy birthday anyways, iPod. Happy birthday. But it's still, it's the thing that we got the iPhone. It, it's still, you know, it, it's still, it, 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 it lives on, right? You know, for a while, the music app on your on your iPhone used to say iPod, you know. Uh, and, and of course, we've moved on to to something definitely a little grander than that. Uh, so uh, it, you know, and, and there's a great article over on The Verge where they do, do go through several versions, um, so you kind of see how it evolved over the years. So uh, cool to see there. And, and man, it's, it's come. They had just buttons on the first one, Riz. Yeah, that's crazy. What are buttons, Sorg? Buttons, man. I don't know what buttons are, Sorg. Uh, I love that they even put in the uh, the U two edition in here, the one that was like signed <laughs> by all of them. That's great. Oh, uh, don't don't bring don't bring iPod and U two in the same sentence. U two U two is like just and they were like and even like the so I think the the fifth around the fifth generation is the one we have. It's still a hard drive one, but it had a color screen. But there was like you could plug it into iTunes and download apps for it. Like there were some games mm-hmm. for it. Like I think they may have even put Sonic on it. So. Uh, yeah, it, it it was a capable little device before they moved it on to what we have now. So, there you go. Happy 15th, iPod. Riz, anything else from the week you want to stick at? Oh, not really. I think not we covered really. a lot. All right, just real quick through I think this. We, go ahead. We just covered the funness of that 
of that awesome Switch that I just want to buy now. Nintendo Switch, yes. Let's do that. Do that. You think like yes. like like the future of like looking for group isn't you go in and play an Xbox that's there? They just have a bunch of Switch docks and we just bring our own in. Just pop it in. Yeah, just pop it in and play. You know, like a special Switch yeah. subscription. Anyways, I'm down for a Switch Switch uh, twenty. Some of the stories we didn't get to, Apple releases uh, iOS 10.1. doesn't matter a lot to the rest of you unless you have an iPhone 7 Plus and it does that cool thing with the two lenses that puts the yeah. uh, the blur behind you, like they can blur the background for you. That, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go. You don't have a Plus, do you? you, got, you got a no, I just, have the, I just have the regular uh, yeah. Uh, 7. Yeah, so, so all of you with your insane giant iPhones. Link brings free public Wi-Fi boost to new... Uh, from New York to London. So, there you go. Free Wi-Fi boost. Um, Cortana is giving out hints about Microsoft Service PC event. That's actually happening tomorrow, uh, Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I like you, Microsoft, because you have Eastern Time times instead of uh, the Pacific time that keeps screaming up for me up for Apple. Apple's event is at 10 a.m. Pacific Time on Thursday. Probably going to be New Max. Probably going to be New Max, which is, which is good, because actually... I might be looking at new needing new hardware in the near future. Wait, wait, Riz, what is this? This just popped up. What, what, I, I what did not up? touch my controller. This is one thing I hope they don't know. They don't have in just in just the dance. Future. You have just dance on your Wii. They have like no, no, I don't. That's the thing. What? Like, I I just got a a, a a demo that I can play Just Dance 2017 on my Wii U. It just popped up on my screen. I don't know why. It keeps happening every week. <laughs> but I do not want to play that. Riz, you just got to dance. Riz, you just got to dance. dance. Just got to dance. Do Riz. I look like I can dance, Sorg? Just you look honest. like you can try. No, I can't. I can't and also, dance. another one, uh, uh, I'd love to have a discussion about this with some of our, uh, I was, uh, our media and our, our social media friends. 60 Minute explains how the kids you don't understand are making more money than you on YouTube. Uh, actually, really good. Uh, it yeah. was a really okay. Sixty minutes um, um, uh, story uh, talking to uh, talking about social media influencers. Gary Vaynerchuk was on it as well, uh, and uh, I forget. I thought there was somebody else I recognized as well. Uh, but but there was, there was a guy that made like a he, he was he was um, uh, they gave him two hundred thousand dollars to do a Dunkin' Donuts commercial, and they're saying yeah he's still undervalued. In the in the realm of, of, of Hollywood and stuff, uh, so it's really really interesting to look at that. And there's some other um, documentaries I, I know I've seen on Netflix and Amazon about like like Grace Helwig and people like that 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 really kind of came up with through YouTube and and the VidCon conventions and all that kind of stuff. The girl mm-hmm. on Musically that that just lip syncs songs and she has to basically have a security detail to get through VidCon. You know who needs? We're probably going to run out of time. But you know who needs to get a lot of money now? Who? Riz? The the one kid. Well, yeah, me. Uh, but the one guy who uh, dubs every background song to All Star. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, like every song, every, every song can be turned back to All Star. Like they did it with. I think the one I the, the one most popular one they. It was posted on Facebook, and I shared it. Was the uh, Evan Set, the Evan Sense one, uh, and he just sang the All Star lyrics, which fits perfectly into the one into that song. Uh, but yeah, I just want to throw Riz, out that, you need to that send guy me should that, one. that guy should get a lot of money. Please send that to the Awesome Cast account so we can share it. Yes. So, um, uh, events coming up. Evening with Pod Camp. Food edition is happening uh, Wednesday night, the 26th. Food, Food edition, October 20, 26th at 7 p.m. Get there by 6.30 for uh, hanging out. And I know there will be some baked goods from our friends at Bite Me, uh, Bite Me Pittsburgh. Uh, so uh, that will be up at Work Hard Pittsburgh in the Allentown neighborhood on East Warrington Avenue. Uh, go uh, check out Pod Camp Pittsburgh's um, Facebook page or uh, podcamppittsburgh.com for more information on that so uh yeah i think that's all the big events this week i'm trying to think it was oh alpha labs demo day if you're not going to that go check out alpha labs demo day alpha lab.com.com.org.com um the, that that's happening tomorrow it's going to be the, the the alpha lab not the joint thing with alpha lab gear 
Uh, so uh, we talked to a lot of those companies actually going to be talking to the squad this week um, who actually tonight, as we're talking, are having their launch party. Uh, they're, they're a new fantasy sports uh, company that you can actually change and make switches. Um, they're currently working with WNBA, uh, but they're looking to expand a force into other sports. Uh, but you can make your picks and change your picks throughout the game. You just don't just set it and forget it by by a deadline each week. You're making it and 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 you know working it as you go through the game. Uh, that interview will be up uh, this Thursday, and there will be several interviews actually coming up from Alpha Lab uh, over the next several weeks. And we're inter- even inter- I'm even interviewing somebody new tomorrow that's going to the awesome chat. So go check those out at awesomecast.net. Studio Me we talked to last week. Um, doing some uh, cool stuff with video production and podcasting studio over in East Liberty. Riz. Sorg. BossBattlePodcast.com. BossBattlePodcast.com. If that is your real podcast. It is my real podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, Riz plays games where I play video games. What are you doing there? Are you playing with the new WWE 2K17? Oh, I have so much fun with that, Sorg. Oh yeah, I, I need to post some. I need to post it on YouTube just to just to make you see the absurdity that I have in this game. Like the, like the character creation alone, uh, you can create like weird stuff around it. Uh, it, it it's fun, mm-hmm. it's different, but it's also the same thing that you you've seen in other video games. But it's a little tweak in the in there as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll post that. Soon on Riz Plays Games on the YouTube. Go. Riz Plays Games, BossBattlePodcast.com. Go check them out. Enjoy them. Let them know. Share it with your friends. And check out all our Ooh. stuff, too. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. SorgatronMedia.com for uh, links uh, basically to everything that we're doing around here. Uh, and, uh, of course, please subscribe, as we mentioned, on all the places off of AwesomeCast.net. Live.AwesomeCast.net. You can join us here every Tuesday around 7 p.m. Eastern for that. And, of course, we are streaming over on um, the Awesome Cast Facebook page. Uh, so a lot of fun happening over there, too. Riz, Riz is joining me. Thank you so much, Riz. Uh, we'll You're see you welcome, guys. Sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you guys next week. Chilla should be back in the studio, I do believe. Uh, and, we'll, and, and I think we are also scheduled to have AJ join us, as he usually does after Apple events. Uh, so looking forward to that discussion as well. Uh, thank you to our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.